everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. I also seem to have a real mohawk due this morning. I have no idea. My hair just stands up on end and does its thing, but I don't really care about that because it's so easy to handle. Well, tomorrow is going to be my first day with um, having a home care worker coming in. A little bit nervous about it, but uh, I think it'll be great. But I'm a little nervous because I don't know the person and I don't know what the routine really is going to be. And I'm such a creature of routine that it's hard when I get out of it. So we'll see what happens. Um, because it, it affects everybody in the house. And, and so, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, we're going to have company this afternoon. Uh, my son's dog is going to be coming over for a visit with the dog that belongs here have to watch what I'm saying and how loud, loud I'm saying it because she's a very smart dog and she picks up on those things and we don't want her to get excited too soon so they're going to be able to run around outside and they're gonna have a great time uh, that'll be good um, what else is going on well I got quite a bit of my closet all organized I, I can't finish it until I get some kind of a medical solution I need like some kind of a small little drawers or something that doesn't take up a lot of room but will fit in there but other than that, it's pretty much done, and uh, I'm not, I'm not sure that I like the way I've put my shirts in. I, I might put my shirts in just folded on the shelf, not in the baskets, because I tried folding them where up on the end. You see, you could see which blouse it was. If you fold them all on top of each other, you can only see the top one. So I tried doing it the other way, but they're such a silky fabric for most of them that they just kind of slump down in and get wrinkled. So I'm thinking that the uh, the blouses might come out of the bin and be put just, you know, set nicely. Oh, excuse me, I shouldn't be yawning, but I am. Now, what else is going on? Uh, Bill's up at the doctor's right now. He is uh, just seeing the diabetic doctor that you, you know, you check in once every two years or something. So anyway, they've gone up there and they're just getting everything checked out, make sure his meter's reading correctly, make sure that they understand that they're, how does insulin affect the chemo. And uh, that's that's going to be the end of what she's doing. And then she's going to come home, like I said, and have a little play date here. So that's going to be fun. And let me just think a little bit, and I'm sure I'll come up with something else to talk about. I usually do. Oh, I should tell you. Our day is absolutely beautiful. Let me see what the temperature is. It is minus four, but the sun is shining. It is a glorious day. There's still quite a bit of snow on the ground, but it's a glorious day out there. That's for sure. And I was having fun looking through pictures today, photographs, because I had some um, photos that I had on my um, computer. And I had Claudine take them up and make them into copies because I was going to send them to a few people that haven't met Finn or or um, haven't seen my kids grow up. But we've uh, touched with bases with them over when my father passing away. So I thought I'd send them pictures of the rest of the family and how, how they look now. So that's going to be a fun thing to maybe get to some response from that. It's always, but I had a blast. No matter what, I had a blast looking through those photos. Uh, we had a uh, chicken Caesar pizza. Excuse me, I'm going to yawn again. It's terrible. I'm so sorry. Chicken Caesar pizza from Pizza Hut last night. It's very, very good. Bill didn't care for it. You know, he. I think he had a pepperoni pizza. I don't think he really cared for that. And I'm wondering, because the last time he went through chemotherapy, his taste buds changed completely. And I'm thinking that that's what's happening here. Because for him to say he doesn't like pe pepperoni pizza, that's... You know, that's unheard of. So he, um, and yet he has been, every time we say to him, would you like something to eat out? His answer always has been in the past, a hamburger or um, something greasy like fish and chips or something like that. Never has he ever wanted something like a vegetable sub. Never. Anyway, he's right now on a Subway kick and he puts some meat on it and lots of vegetables and, and that's what he wants. And I said, I think his change, taste buds have changed since the chemotherapy started. So we'll see if it keeps on or not. It's a good healthy change for him. Oh, I'm going to have to turn this off because I can't keep on talking with a yawn. Let's see if there's anything else I want to say. I don't think so. 
If I think of anything else, I'll put it back on. But if not, I will say goodbye and hope you all have an excellent night and we'll see you tomorrow.